My name is Rekia Parayusu, and I'm here to take you social problem. This course is three credit low and is an elective course for you. The general information is stated here in the slide. You can go up, go through it, and you'll see. Anyway, you need to have a general overview of what the course is all about. Society all over the world are currently facing a multitude of problems that must be addressed. The negative impact of these issues or social problems may affect any number of groups in the society. Or, if poverty, almost everybody in the society will be affected. Society attempt to deal with these problems must exceed from a fundamental understanding of their social facet and causes. Solutions to these problems are often influenced by the cultural peculiarity of each society. In this course, we will expose a number of major social problems affecting our society and also look at the different approaches taken by other society in coping with them. However, these are the courses we are going to cover in this semester. The courses section is subdivided into eight sessions, starting with understanding of social problems. These are the recommended study materials for you to go online or probably check the library and go through them. You see courses on social problems and go through them for more understanding of the course. Your method of assessment is also stated in the slide. You can see it and go through it. Without no much waste of time, we are going to start with the first session, which is the session one. Understanding social problem. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand the concept of social problems, define the meaning of social problems, explain the components in the definition of social problem and establish the point to which an issue or condition becomes a social problem. Now, the most important problems of contemporary societies are social problems. Yes, these days, anywhere you go in this world, you find one kind of problem or the other. These are problems bedeviling most countries of the world that require to be looked into. Considering the negative effect of social problem, solving it will go a long way to solving the problems of society, thereby enhancing individual groups and societal welfare and development. Eradicating or looking for a way to cope with the menace of social problems will go a long way to solving societal problems. Yes, because these problems are issues that can be detrimental to the individual and to the well-being of the society at large. In a general sense, we may even say that to the extent that the problem of the society invariably affects human beings and also because the problems usually have social consequences. To that extent, it could be argued that all problems that affect a sizable number of people are social problems. Yes, the word social has been always reoccurring in the social, social, social. We sociologists do not look at just a mere problem that affects a single person as a problem. No, but it must affect a large number of people. However, the number, you cannot estimate the number to an extent. It is not stated that this is the total number that affects a person. But if an issue affects a large number of persons, that issue can be regarded as a social problem. Now, let's look at the definition of social problem. The social problem has been defined differently by different scholars. Ex Zin and Zin, 1997, defined social problem as a social situation that affects a large number of observers, observers felt where inappropriate and needed remedy. A social problem is a condition that undermines the well-being of some or all members of a society and it's usually a matter of public controversy. That is a definition from Maxionis. However, according to Maxionis, condition refers to any situation that, that refers to 
any situation that at least some people define as troublesome, yes, any issue that threatens the well-being of an individual is troublesome to the society. Not to that particular person, but to the society because it might move from that particular person to another person. Such as having, example, such as having no job, lacking enough money, fearing crime, being overweight, or worrying about the effect of toxic waste buried on the ground. These are examples of issues that might be called a social problem. A condition that undermines the well-being hurts people either by causing them immediate harm or perhaps by limiting their choice. Example, for example, poverty is not only does not only deprive people of nutritious, nutritious food and safe housing, but also take away their dignity, leaving them passive and powerless. When you don't have money, when you are poor, you don't have, people will not look at you with respect. People will not see you as anyone in the society. You cannot go among your equals and speak. Why? Because you lack the material resources that make you look important in public. That is what poverty is all about. Houghton and Leslie. 1981 provide a more detailed definition of social problem as a condition affecting a significant number of people in a way considered undesirable about which is felt something can be done through collective social action what do i mean by this definition you can see that the definition is even broken into four parts first a condition affecting a significant number of people in a way considered undesirable, about which is felt something can be done through collective social action. First, we are going to elaborate on this, on this definition. First is the condition that affects a significant number of people. A social problem should not be that which affects an individual. If an individual is affected, it's not a social problem, rather a personal problem. Take for example, just because I fail an exams, only a student in the class is not a problem. Probably because I did not read, I was not serious, I don't even know the main primary objective of coming to the university. That was why I failed. But if a large number of persons fail a particular course, that needs to be checked because it has become a problem. Why? Why is it a problem? The number of persons that failed the course were even much more than half in the class. Even if in the class of 100, 30 students fail a course, they need to check. What will they check? Either the teaching material or the lecturer in question. The teaching method he's applying to teach that course, probably the students are not getting it, so he has to change his method of teaching. However, that is why C. Wright Mills differentiate between individual, which is private problems, which he refers to as personal troubles, of social milieu and social or public problems, which he refers to as the public issue of social structure. Yes, it's a public issue of social structure if it affects a considerable number of persons. This issue is not that one in which a particular person can be able to solve, but there is a problem within the structure of the society in which they need to look inward and provide a solution to it. Note that there is no rule to what constitutes a significant number, just as I have said earlier. But just that, as long as a good number of persons are affected, and this may vary from situation, problem, and society. Yes, social problem varies from situations and society. It is quite relative. What will be considered as problem in Nigeria may not be considered as problem in the Western world. Take for example, people are talking about climate change, greenhouse gases on the air. Is that the problem of Nigeria now? No, there are problems much more than that of greenhouse gases. If the sun of Stravolent Ray is high on the skin, I don't even consider that as a problem because I'm used to the sun of Gravel Leather. You understand? But when we begin to talk about kidnapping, hmm, banditry, I'm scared of going out of my house because that is already a problem in this country. So looking at greenhouse gases is not our problem, it's that of the Western world. If they don't have anything that has to do with kidnapping, and bandits, we have it here, and this is our major problem because what is a problem in Nigeria is different from what is a problem in the Western world. Okay, this is just an example that I gave. The next one is the effect of the condition must be considered 
undesirable. Yes, for a condition to become a problem, everyone will see that issue to be that that will affect everyone in the society. Even if it does not affect you immediately, there is a possibility that it may affect someone close to you or probably it may get to you in future. That condition needs to be looked into if probably solved because you are scared that it may get to you. This stands as the second part of the definition. A um, condition that has undesirable, that has desirable, pleasurable, or positive effects on people will be encouraged. Yes, if people are doing very good in the class, they read and they pass their course, we will encourage them by giving them some kind of position and gift. But when people are failing, why are they failing this course? We want to know. You understand? It's either the students are not good or the lecturer in question new to be checked. And if the lecturer is not good, they should do something about the lecturer in order for the student to continue because they pay a chunk amount of money in order to come and study and acquire a degree in sociology. If the lecturer is not good, they should bring in another lecturer for the course. Example, corruption as an undesirable condition which has been recognized by many people as a single most important cause of underdevelopment in Africa is something that we should look is undesirable is the cause of the major problems in most african countries example nigeria the third part of it is a social problem has undesirable effect about which is felt something can be done yes we have seen that there is an issue and this issue has been affecting a large number of persons in the society should we let it remain do you know the next turn, the person in the next turn who will be affected by this problem? No. The best solution to this problem is to see how we can talk. Let people know that this issue is becoming undesirable because we need something to be done about it and not later, but immediate solution to be provided in order not to engulf the whole society. However, the next is that a social problem is one about which is felt something can be done through collective social action. Why do we use collective social action? A single person cannot provide or agitate for an issue to become a problem. There are issues of kidnapping ongoing. We cannot pass through the route of Gwagwalada, uh, Abuja to Kaduna because of bandits because of kidnappers these days we cannot even see our relatives the relationship that exists among siblings is withering away all because of armed bandits kidnapping who are those that are affected we don't need to leave them to come and begin to agitate the government need to do something about it in order to do away with kidnapping in the society but it is a collective responsibility of members of the society to come out and say it's enough government you need to know that it's your responsibility to help us to tackle the insecurity we are faced upon in this country we are not the government we cannot provide security for ourselves even if you're going to provide for yourself what about the next door neighbor what about your siblings what about your kids no matter how you try to provide security for yourself, you cannot protect yourself all the time because you have siblings that might be affected. And if they are affected, you are affected. So indirectly or directly, you are affected. So it is the responsibility of all to stand up and say, this issue is enough so that collectively we'll make a move towards eradicating this situation and for government to know that this situation is undesirable. Thank you so much, class. This is the end of the first session.